Monster. Oh. Probably the monster that you lost last time. So we it's... don't have to talk about that though, do we? <laughs> Probably put on 10 kilos. Yeah. <laughs> This lateral line fishing mission is going to start pretty much the same way the last couple have. And that is by me saying that the fishing at the moment is red hot. Milan has caught more than his fair share of big kingfish. So this time around, Nato has a fishing rod in his hand. I have just spent the last couple hours in the shed. I've completely re-spooled my very own 18,000 Soltega tied a stick bait onto that and I've stolen one of Milan's 20,000 salt tigers and rigged that ready for a live bait and the little soft bait combo is also on the boat. It's not just me and Milan on this one, we've got Alex tagging along. Alex looks after our social media, the Facebook and the Instagram and Alex is also, what do you call it? Milan's better half, Milan's partner in crime so to speak. Alex has always got a smile on her face. She's a ton of fun to have around and she loves fishing. And she hasn't been fishing for ages, which is a crime. So yeah, the three of us are gonna pack ourselves into the boat and then we are off fishing. We're gonna stay on the boat tonight, which is um, gonna be a little bit interesting. The original design brief for Sojourn was the smallest boat that you could sleep two people on, not three people. So it could get a little bit crammed later on, but when we get this new boat, I want to have three people on the boat just about every time we go fishing because an extra angler just gives me more to film and we should be a little bit more successful and it will definitely be more fun. This time on the lateral line, it won't be the cameraman's job to film a kingfish eating something and it won't be the cameraman's job to then film an epic fight scene and film a fish being landed. It is going to be the cameraman's job to not only get a kingfish to bite, entice a big kingfish into eating my stick bait, but it's also going to be my job this time round to do battle with a big kingfish and then get that big kingfish in the boat and in my arms for a photo. I haven't caught a big kingfish in near on a year. And in fact, I think it was this time last year when I caught my last big kingfish, and you'll be looking at that footage right now. That fishing mission had to have been the most epic kingfish catching mission that myself and Milan have ever been on. And myself and Milan have fished together for some 15 years now, and just about every time we go fishing, we go catching kingfish or at least we try to catch kingfish so to say that that mission was the best kingfish catching mission that we've had in 15 years i think is really saying something but anyway back to the lateral line fishing mission that is at hand instead of having a camera in my hand this time around i am gonna have a fishing rod and i'm gonna do my very best to catch a big kingfish we are camped up on board Sojin tonight. At the very least, we will eat like kings and have a ton of fun. Going on what we've already seen today, this fishing trip is going to be just like the last couple of trips. Everything just looks super fishy. We were driving up the coast before, looked down to see a kayak fisherman carrying a huge kingfish up the rock. So stopped, went down and met him and uh, got a beautiful shot of him and his big, beautiful kingfish. And I have to apologize right now because I forget that man's name, but to that man, thank you very, very much for allowing us to uh, Form your smiling face and your big kingfish, it was awesome. Then we no sooner got on the water and there's just birds everywhere. Run into whales again. Didn't manage to get a drone shot of them, but I got a shot of them off the front of the boat. We fished a couple of spots on the way up the coast, but uh, one bite and nothing else. But we have arrived at a spot that we know to be good and looking around the place, there are birds and bait schools. 
is Kawai sitting on the front face of the island here. So the mighty Kawai right now is being targeted. Alex has got a lure in the water trying to get one of them for a live bait. And it won't be long and I'll be pulling out my stick bait rod. And I'll be into it. We'll just try and get a couple of live baits in the boat first. And then it's on. Bring it on. I'm excited. Super pumped to be fishing again. I haven't caught a kingfish in a very long time. A bite. Got yourself a live bait. Yay! See you later, Mr. Carwhite. Here you go, Alex. <laughs> Hold on Thanks. for dear life, girl. <laughs> My bait and tow. Stick bait going sideways. Huge school of bait. Huge school of bait just up in front of NATO. Hard to see, but. It's definitely there. Right in the middle of the screen, a big school of car white. Guess about a patch of bait that we've found so far. Well, we got on the water and everything looked really, 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 really good. Predict wind was bang on the money with the weather and Predict Wind was predicting that it was going to get even better. We had a number of spots that we wanted to visit and check to see if the mighty Kingfish was home. We weren't fishing very long and Alex had a live bait and a live bait was out the back. And then we run that live bait around big bait schools and we went from island to island to island with that live bait and the whole time I was casting a stick bait in and around the bait. All the bait just looked far too happy. They were just on the surface mulling around or we could see them on the sounder down deep. They just didn't um, have that something's trying to eat me look about them. And usually when they look like that it's because exactly that, there's nothing trying to eat it. No predators are around. So after much debate the boys decided the best thing to do was to stop kingy fishing, well sorry the boys and the girls today decided to stop kingy fishing and try and catch something for Milan to cook us for dinner. So that is the plan right now. Myself and Alex have soft bait rods in our hands. We're going to cast this piece of coast and try and pick up something that Milan can cook us for dinner. And then I think it is going to be an early night, an early anchorage and Tomorrow we will rise and shine bright and early and hope like crazy that tomorrow is just like a whole completely different day and there are kingfish everywhere. So yeah, that's us, me and Alex on soft bait rods trying to find something for Milan to cook us for dinner. That isn't a bad thing. Oh, you're meant to catch dinner, not tiny. <laughs> I don't think you'll be cooking that one, boy. She's windy, mate. It is now. Go, oh, NATO. Woo! Wait, that's you. That's Stop a it. monster. <laughs> you did catch even, one, though. Even Alex is giving me grief for the hey, size you did, of me snapper. You did want to go fishing, remember? 
Now you've caught one, you'll be happy you can start filming me again. <laughs> Good on you, mate. <laughs> You leave a spot and then you come back to a spot and it's like it's a whole nother day, NATO. Turn the motor off, man. Come on, catch a big kingfish. Turn Look at the excitement off. levels are high. Give me my weapon of <laughs> If it was me, I would have had 10 casts by now. <laughs> what a change, NATO. You feeling a little bit more excited now? Definitely feels a bit fishier. Spotted those birds from like a half a million miles away. Oh. I can't even hold in the Minkota. Oh, wow. It looks really, really fishy now. If there's going to be a kingfish, we're going to get one now. This is your opportunity, NATO. Either now and tomorrow morning. Alex has flicked your livey back out the back. You'll know if it gets eaten. Oh, that was a king I said to NATO. Is that a kingfish? <laughs> it was Carlo <laughs> trying to eat my, my FG knot. <laughs> I'm driving and filming at the same time. I'm trying to drive away for you, the current's insane. It's a good one, bro, it's a good one. Don't you get dusted. <laughs> you said you were gonna catch a monster today and it is a good one. Oh, and it's got your carpenter on there. Come on, brother. <laughs> Did you get the eat? No, I didn't, I stopped filming because you said it was kawai and then the kawai no, was wasn't. It was kawai eating my FG knife. And then two seconds after that. Oh, that's a hog of a fish, bro. Last time NATO was here, he got dusted by a monster. Probably the monster that you lost last time. We it's... don't have to talk about that, though, do we? <laughs> Probably put on 10 kilos. Yeah. <laughs> oh, some weight down there, Milan. Yeah, it's a good oh. fish. Oh. Oh. Okay, we're out in deep water now. I'm going to go out of spot lock. I'm just going to drop and we're just going to drift. Ah. I think I beat him. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. Woo. I think we'll be all putting on stick baits. Alex is on the stick bait too now, I think. <laughs> There's good weight down there, bro. Yeah, it's a solid fish, man. You're lucky to stop him, I reckon. <laughs> he was going for gold. I had to grab the spool. Oh, it's got a big tail on it, brother. Oh. <laughs> you wanted to catch a big one. You went and hooked one, I can tell you that. Oh, dude. It's got That's pig status. <laughs> yeah, it's got pig status all over that, brother. I'm just gutted I missed the strike. Oh, bro. Hey, Milan. <laughs> hey, check me out. Yeah, I'm, you looking, I'm, look, I'm looking at that, one, bro. Man. I'm looking at that. <laughs> I don't like you fishing here. Well, I do like you fishing. <laughs> but yeah, put, out, show me every time. Okay, Nato, don't stuff this one up. Wow. No, nah, he's not allowed help. <laughs> <laughs> got to do it by himself. Oh, I've got to drive the boat out of here. If you can bring him around the other side of the boat, that'll be awesome. Okay, Mr. Kenny. Be nice to me, please, brother. Please, brother, be nice to me. And he's in the boat, NATO! <laughs> oh, dude! <laughs> Let go, my man. Thank you, Cobber. You beast! Look at the length of the thing. You big beast! <laughs> <laughs> wow, NATO! Holy shamolies! <laughs> Well, today went from, oh my God, I'm not really feeling the love, to holy shmolies! 
I'm in love! <laughs> what wow. a beast of a fish! Such a cool take! Did you film the take? Almost filmed the take. <laughs> I feel so much better that you missed the take. Look at the size of the thing's tail, would you? The flutes on it are massive. Can you get the top of that down? Look at that. Wow. Whoa. Can you give me a photo, please, Milan? Yep. I haven't got a photo of the big kingfish for ages. Are you ready? Yeah. I'm hurting. Thank you very, very much, Mr. Kingy. That was insanely cool. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> Lucky I got good eagle eyes, eh? <laughs> Thank you, Milan. I enjoyed that. Wow. <laughs> Even though I'm now soaked. We were sitting in that bay and nothing was happening and I said to Nato, oh, I'm sure I can spy a heap of birds working at the end of the island and if they are, there's going to be big kingies out there. And we drove from catching nothing and came straight out in his Nato second cast and he gets a hog. That's probably the biggest fish we've caught on Sojin or damn close to it. Wow. Whew. Are you ready yet, Nato? If you're gonna do it, mate, do it properly, mate. Did you see what I did, mate? Yeah, I did. <laughs> Let the drift start. <laughs> That's what happened before, eh? I went like this. Whack, whack. Da, 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 da. Bait for Africa, man. You're pretty excited now, aren't you? It's, um, <laughs> when there's big kingies around to <laughs> catch. It's definitely more exciting when you're hanging onto the rod. I'm always so focused on trying to film strikes, but now I'm just like focused on getting one. Excuse me, Gannett, it's mine. Leave it alone. Excuse me. <laughs> if you'll get a hook in the face. Hey! <laughs> Dude! <laughs> now you just ruined my whole cast, man. My whole cast, man. I think after this drift, we do one more drift, NATO. One more drift? Well, I think we have to. It's so good. Yeah. You know what I'm like, though. I just want to get to Anchorage so I can film stuff in the daylight. Well, I can do I'm, it. I'm a cameraman. I can drift. I can do the drift for you. <laughs> you want to have a fish? <laughs> you can have a fish. I'll film some. I caught a big fish. Did you see it? I saw it. Did you film it? I was in awe of it. <laughs> You're going to catch one. Catch Fooled a big one. Fool my aura, bro. <laughs> if you going to catch one, catch a big one. That's what I reckon. That's what you always say. Put a big one on, catch a big stick one. Stick my stick bait on, look at the size of my fish I caught me land. Yeah man, that stick bait only catches big ones, mate. Yep. Is it time for dinner, Marlon? It's time for me to cook you dinner for catching a monster kingfish. Wicked! <laughs> Did you hear that? I'm excited, I'm it's hungry. Dinner time! Yay. All right, mate, what's on the menu? Uh, homemade salads with a bit of lamb racks over the charcoals. Lamb racks? Lamb racks over the charcoals tonight for dinner. It's gonna be a beautiful dinner, I can tell you that right now. We've got lamb racks because Nato and his bow and arrow has been uh, 
<laughs> a little bit slack lately. But that is about to change with camping season coming up. Fish, as much as the weather would allow. Huge kingfish in his arms. Not only has the fishing been good on 60 frames zoomed in. And yeah, I missed it. Again. What have you got there, man? A bit of lentil salad. Nana made it for Christmas. Lentil salad. <laughs> Nana's leftover lentil salad from Christmas. Wow. Yeah. That's pretty good, man. With a bit of tofu. To go with our vegetarian meal. Vegetarian <laughs> meal. <laughs> Lamb's a vegetarian. Lambs are vegetarian, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Good on you, mate. <laughs> Thank you. Alex, can you eat all of that? I think so. <laughs> Watch me. <laughs> I'll film you. Well, today might have got off to a little bit of a slow start, but I tell you what, I got the biggest smile on my face. I caught a big kingfish, if you haven't heard me say it like three times today already, but it is now dinner time. Milan has once again outdone himself, and we got an outstanding dinner in front of us. We are going to consume that, and then the lights will go out. We'll be getting into our sleeping bags, and... We'll get a good night's rest because both myself and Milan reckon that spot where I caught that big kingy this afternoon is going to be all action again in the morning. See you then. Good night, Nato. See you in the morning time. I am right now at home editing the very video that you are watching and I have just made an executive decision and that executive decision is to cut this video into two parts because as I've said in a couple of past videos myself and Milan want to have some time off we want to get ahead of ourselves and pretty soon we're not going to have a boat and yeah I'm going to cut this one into two I will leave you with a montage of next time on the lateral line and next time on the lateral line we wake from our slumber nice and early do the normal have coffee and all the rest of it and at the end of the day we run into a big whale dolphin and gannet workup and it was absolutely spectacular so i will leave you with scenes from that Cheer, cheer, my brothers and sisters. Thank you all so very, very much for watching The Lateral Line. It is greatly, truly, honestly appreciated. And this time around, I want to say a big extra thank you to the man that calls himself the Kiwi Fisherman. I got a comment from the Kiwi Fisherman saying that his young man, Jacob, and his young woman, Elizabeth, on Christmas, opened up their Christmas presents and they both received a fishing rod and when Elizabeth opened up her fishing rod she said hey look dad I'm like Milan and then Jacob opened up his Christmas present and got a fishing rod did a fake cast and said hey dad I'm like Nathan and um I think that is the most awesome thing ever chur chur Mr Kiwi Fisherman thank you very very much for your comment you put a huge smile on our faces it is very very much appreciated I will leave you now with another installment of Milan's build video and we will see you all again very, very soon. Best thing about whales eating pilchards is there's lots of snapper Ooh. and kingies underneath. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Alex is getting smashed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what did you just say? My back's on fire. Your back is on fire. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> oh, on. I hope this is just a monster. <laughs> 
you don't wind the handle, then no line comes in. No, I can't. <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> <laughs> Alex is getting tired. <laughs> <laughs> Alex is tired and there's stool line screaming off the reel. You might have a real good one. After a long slog, the house has moved into a gear where it almost transforms overnight. And every day when you turn up to work, it's different from the last. To be honest, that's probably something the project hasn't felt like since the frames were stood way back in May. Andre is full steam jibbing out the house at present, something you would think would take a while, but with Andre on the job, days just seem like weeks, as room after room are completed in record time. When you know how to do something, it just becomes second nature. That's why good people are worth the money when you're dealing with good tradespeople in the building industry. They do it once, have all the right gear, and at last, once it's complete. Outside the Merry Men of Three, are still full noise ahead laying brick after brick after brick. It's nice having happy people on site that love what they do and have a smile on their dial. Every day they turn up on site, turn on the music and get into what they love doing. Every day is a transformation and to be honest, the house is starting to look like a finished home. It's been an interesting project, taking on your own build. I've done building projects in the past but I've only done the design and the builder has taken on the rest. Making design decisions on the run and creating something that you're going to live in day in, day out is a big call, as if you get it wrong, you're the only one that you can point your finger at. But in reality, you don't get it wrong. You just did the best you could with the skills you had on the day. So far, I'm super happy with the progress and what it looks like. The challenging bits moving forward are it's bigger than what I thought, meaning everything takes time. It's high which has made construction difficult. It's expensive, with prices going up on a monthly basis. But I think everything like this is always gonna have its hurdles. It's how you roll with them that gets you to the end. The end, I'm looking forward to, to be able to come home from fishing and live in my own design that I helped build. Now that's something to look forward to. The Lateral Line is proudly brought to you by Violet Organic Foods.